let's prove this identity. First of all, notice that I have two terms going into one term. So I'm going to have to do what at some point? Get common denominators. So let's do it now. Let's multiply the second one by sine, sine, sine over sine. So I have 1 plus tan x over sine x minus secant x over sine x. Actually, let's not even just do that. Let's change secant x. What does secant x equal? Secant equals 1 over cosine, right? So it's going to be minus sine x over sine x cosine x. Which means I should have multiplied this one by what? Cosine x. Whoops, see what I'm talking about? Okay, and I'll just do it this way, equals cosecant x. Just keep the thing on the right as it is. All right, that allows us to add these together. What's tan x the same as? Actually, let me just go back and clean that up a little bit. Let me write tan as sine over cosine. Okay, follow my nose. I trust it's going to work out. So now I multiply the cosine in and I get what? Cosine x plus sine x minus sine x, what? All over sine x cosine x. Follow? I can see what's going to happen. Can you see it? Those signs are going to cancel and I'm going to get what? Cosine x over sine x cosine x equals cosecant x. Now what's going to happen? The cosines cancel, so I have 1 over sine x equals cosecant x, which means cosecant x equals cosecant x. 